My Florida trip is coming to a close, but I still got two parks left. The first of those two is Fun Spot Atlanta, and I'm here for one reason and one reason only, to get more rides on Air Force One. When I was here last year, I only got two rides on this because I got here at eight o'clock and the park was at 10. Not really my choice because the traffic gator was horrendous. So I lost multiple hours because of it. It's about six o'clock, park closes at 10, so I'll have four hours today instead of two. Let's take advantage of it and get some more rides on Air Force One. <laughs> glad I don't have to deal with that, at least for right now. They are on one train, so if the line picks up later, that'll be a bit of an issue, but as of now, this is more than acceptable because it could be so much worse given my experience here. Lift off sequence engaged. rides on Air Force One, or as I would like to call it for right now, Air Force Wasps. There are wasps swarming the top of the lift hill, which I just had that issue with Iron Gwazi at Busch Gardens Tampa, which I rode the day before I'm recording this. So that's definitely not great. Actually, I think there's one right there actually, which I don't know if you guys saw on camera, but yeah, it's swarmed right by me. So I'm gonna avoid riding this for a little bit because I don't like wasps. And the fact that they're swarming everywhere at the top of the lift hill, even right at the start of the first drop, makes me have a bad feeling that one of them could land right on my arm and sting me while I'm on the ride, and that could really kill the ride. So I'm gonna wait till the sun goes down, and hopefully it'll scare some of the wasps out for the night. this thing 
twice in the back row, and I think those rides were better than my rides in the front, mainly because I didn't have to deal with the stress of the wasps at the top of the lift hill. In the back, you crested the top of the lift hill so fast that I didn't even notice the wasps, whereas in the front, it goes over slower, so that's why I prefer the back for now. But I am gonna try the front row right now, actually, and also, later on, I wanna get a front row night ride. Last year, I got a back row night ride, but I still preferred my ride in the front about an hour earlier because the sense of speed is better. I do prefer speed over air time. That's why I like the front row better than the back row on this ride in general. After riding the front row again, I feel like this ride is a bit too much for me, honestly. It was ranked in my upper 20s. I thought I might move it up if I got some more rides. I don't think so, because this thing is just way too aggressive. I have not done Hurricane yet, and I want to try that again, because I rode it once last time, and I didn't really think much of it. So let's head over there and try it out, see if it's better than I remember it being. <laughs> Not a bad go-kart track. I was the only one on that particular race, which was kind of hilarious, but there were some decently sharp corners, which I actually didn't accelerate at all. I just let the go-kart coast around the turn, so I didn't crash into a wall, which my brother does not have good luck with go-karts. Like every time he rides one, he gets T-bones. So I'm glad I took it safe on that one. I wrote hurricane I thought it was a janky mess and not that good this year it was the exact same so I'm not a big fan of this one <laughs> Surfing over here is not open today. The train is stuck halfway up the lift hill. So not gonna be riding that one, but that's all right. I got the credit last year. We're losing daylight, so I gotta go get some more shots of Air Force One before it gets too dark out, and then get a couple more rides on that, which I want to do it five more times, put me up to 10, which I'm at five for this trip. <laughs> And I think this is the second RMC I've done that on. The only other RMC that comes to mind for me is Outlaw Run at Silver Dollar City. I got two Zen rides on it this past July, and then I got another one back in March. So this is number two for me. <laughs>
I got a couple more rides on Air Force One to end the day, including the last ride of the night, and it was really good, except for the quad down. Final ride count from today was 13 on Air Force One, and then one on Hurricane and the Roadrunner Speed Course. That was the name of the go-kart track I did. I definitely felt like I had a much better experience here than I did last time because I wasn't rushed, unlike last year where I was rushed because I had like not even two hours here. And in terms of highlights, Air Force One win. Like with no Watson, I think it was great, but the quad down was just too much. It was still a good time to back here. And before you click on this video, please like if you haven't done so already. Be sure to comment what you enjoyed about this video and be sure to share it with someone else you may know. If you're new to this channel like we saw, please consider subscribing for more content like this. My goal is to hit 1,000 subscribers by the end of the year, so I'd appreciate you subscribing and show the bell and so you're notified every time I upload a new video. I also have an Instagram account for the pictures I take whenever I visit a park, so be sure to check me out there as well via the link in the description. As for the next vlog, it is the final park of this trip, and it happens to be my favorite. That park is Six Flags Over Georgia, where I hopefully will be getting back on Goliath for my first time since 2021, since it was closed last year. So stay tuned for that. And until then, I'll see you later.